Hi, Sai here. I'm part of the delivery and implementation team at Analysis Prime. In this video blog, I would like to demonstrate a new custom function which was introduced as part of the 2023 QRC3 release. The custom function I would like to discuss here is SAP set data. What I'll be covering this video is give you a brief context around it, then jump into the add-in to show you a simple demo. I'll then close the video by doing a quick recap of what we learned today. The SAP set data function is used to write back information to the system and hence ideally would be used for planning scenarios. This is very similar to SAP get data. Uh, the only difference is you know, again writing back to the system. The information needs to be specified in a tuple format that is exactly specifying where we pick and place the planning values, which needs to be written back to the system. The function can be integrated into existing formulas and used along the SAP get data function. The syntax is shown in the snapshot here. This function yeah, has widespread applications in the planning world, such as creating uh, forecast spreadsheets, you know, rolling forecasts, and so on. With this context, let's now jump into the add-in and see how it works. What you see here is a simple you know, spreadsheet, you know, which has what I've done is I'm going to be creating the forecast revenue uh, when the new price is eight twenty dollars. So I've already you know, done a scenario here. So let me revert this back so that I'll show you. where the information is coming from as well. So I'm basically using this item here, 800 quantity and this revenue. So I'm saying that uh, in this scenario, I'm going to give uh, the new value as 820 and see what my revenue will be. So once, uh, say, or instead of 820, let's change it to 830, just for the benefit of this video. I put 830 here, then I just do click process data. So this is the new revenue which is generated. Um, one point to be noted is that the dimensions which I'm using, I'm uh, specifying them using dimension IDs or member IDs. Um, this will help with identifying the formulas better. Um, this was what I wanted to cover in this uh, brief demo. Let's now close this video. So in this video, I covered how the SAP set data function works with a demo for it in the Excel add-in. Thank you for your time. Happy learning. Bye for now.